Hey everybody, welcome back to Sticky Rice Garage Beer Reviews. We got a beautiful blend of pineapple, guava, and citrus coming at you today from uh, Platform Brewery, Sun Surfer, and the Shades. Even though I'm in the garage, I said, well, if I'm drinking Sun Surfer, man, I'm putting the glasses on because you don't know what's coming at you. This one's brought to you directly by the sales rep here locally in Akron, Ohio. He sold it to me as a perfect lake beer. And this guy, he brought the goods when he was talking it up. And I said, well, I gotta give it a shot. And I'm gonna throw it on Sticky Rice's Garage Beer Reviews. I did something I normally don't do. I opened it before I started the review. I just wanted to give a little taste. I didn't want everybody to see the excitement as I had high anticipation of this being the replacement for my day-to-day -day beer. I'm sad to bring you the news that this is not the replacement. Platform is a fine company. I have nothing against them, but the Sun Surfer is not the perfect weight there. I am, I am struggling to get through this can. Despite having 17 beers prior to this, which normally, you know, eludes all the pieces and the inner workings of everything, makes everything go down nice and smooth. This is, this is a chore to get down. I, I don't know what it is. The can lists their grain selection as two row Melanodian. I don't even know what that is. That sounds foreign. Flaked oats, that sounds local. Oat malt, standard. And honey malt, also pretty standard. They're hop, Chinook. Pretty sure that's a helicopter. I don't think that is a hop at all. They may have gotten something out of Guatemala or something that was, <laughs> it was, it was false advertising, fellas. He, he got a bad deal on that one. Ariana. That sounds like an angry stripper that did not make a lot of good tips this last weekend. And she is not happy. And Kalista. That's just, I, I, I don't know what that is. So the yeast is American Ale, which thank goodness that's bringing it back home so that it's somewhat drinkable. This is a tough one. Sun Surfer was sold as a premium product. I bought into it hook, line, and sinker. I said, Sun Surfer, I'll put the glasses on. Sadly, it's taken me a while to get through this. Just one beer has taken me almost seven minutes to get to it. And um, if anybody knows me, that is not like me at all. So um, I'm gonna take one more sip. I'm gonna give it an honest review. Oh, it's it's tough. It's, it's just not my style. Sad to say Platform has not sold me on their Sun Surfer. Today's Garage Beer Review, giving Sun Surfer an astonishing low 2.7. Sorry guys, it's just not where it needs to be.